Welcome back to the Hot Tip Best Daily Pick Show for Friday, January 7th. Back with some more college basketball action for today. And as far as Thursday's picks goes, before we get into the show, don't really have any results as of yet. Currently, Wagner's in the second half. They're tied. So going to be a little bit of a hard stretch for them to cover. UAB is up in the first half, but way too early to really call any of the bets. Um, so just check Twitter, Best Stamp, all of that for those results. But let's get right into Friday's action. I'm Now, the first game we want to take a look at on Friday, Bucknell taking on Navy. Now, this Bucknell team comes into this game 3-11 and on the season. Navy is 9-4. and And Navy has been a pretty solid team. You know, they're 127th in Kim Palm, 145 in the hot to bet rankings. And while Bucknell hasn't been great, you know, they're 313 in Kim Palm, 288 in the hot to bet rankings. And with only three wins, they, they really don't have a whole lot to, to, to go off of. That record is a little deceiving, if you ask me, and then even their ranking a little deceiving. This team has played some closer competitive games, and as far as covering the spread goes, they've done a decent job. Um, you know, opening up a Patriot League play here this season, a two-point loss to Boston U, a seven-point loss to Army. Um, you know, they were able to hang in those games, and, and they kept it close enough um, to, to certain respect in those ones. Um, Andrew Funk leads this Bucknell team in scoring with 18.6 points per game. Xander Rice is also dropping 11.9 points per game and overall they've been a very very solid basketball team shooting the ball a 52.2 effective field goal percentage 35.5 percent from beyond the arc and a 79.1 free throw percentage now tell me those shooting numbers are a team that has three wins this season because I just don't buy it. You know, they've, they've shot the ball much better than they have played this season. And we'll get into their defense here in a second. But as far as Navy's gone this season, obviously, you know, that that opening night win um, over Virginia was very, very good for them. Um, they, they opened Patriot League play with two good wins as well over Holy Cross and Boston U. And they have a solid team together. Don't get me wrong. John Carter Jr. leads this team in scoring with 14.2 points per game. Greg Summers is also dropping 10.4 points per game. But overall, they aren't the, the greatest shooting team in the world. They're not horrible. You know, a 50.3 effective field goal percentage isn't bad. 33.6% from beyond the arc. But um, their free throw shooting has not been nearly as well as Bucknell coming into this one. Only a 67% free throw shooting team for Navy here. Um, and like I said, Bucknell offensively has really just played much, much better than the record says. Um, and they play a pretty fast style of basketball, um, which for a team like this, getting this many points, that's kind of what you want. You know, they have a 70.6 adjusted tempo, according to Ken Palm. They're 83rd in the country in that category. And offensively, they've been a pretty solid team. 243rd adjusted offensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm, which isn't crazy. I mean, that's, you know, definitely bottom half of the country for sure. Um, but they haven't been bad at all. The defense is, is why Bucknell is so big of underdogs in this game. Though. Their defense has not been good. They're 343rd in the country in adjusted defensive efficiency. And a lot of it comes because they just can't get turnovers. They can't stop teams from scoring, which is definitely a problem. Don't get me wrong. You know, they got to do a better job forcing turnovers, especially they're only forcing a 12.9 turnover percentage, 356th in the country, you know, third to last in the country when it comes to forcing turnovers. And that's an area where Navy has done a pretty solid job this year. 20.7 turnover percentage, 85th in the country for them. And Navy is a very solid team on the defensive side of the ball. They're 87th in adjusted defensive efficiency, um, well, only 186 and just an offensive efficiency, but I'm not super sold on what Navy has done so far this season. And that Bucknell offense is very, very impressive. And I think this is really how this game goes. If Bucknell can even just shoot decently well against this Navy defense and find a way to get through them even a little bit, I think with the lack of Bucknell defense isn't going to matter a whole lot. They just got to find ways to score points. They just got to score points. They got to score points. And that's how Bucknell covers this game. So um, I like Bucknell plus 13 on the road here against Navy. Next up on the card, we got a big East showdown between Xavier and Butler. Xavier comes into this game 11 and two on the season. Butler is eight and five and Xavier has been a solid basketball team. They're 24th in Kempom, 26th in the hot Tibet rankings. Butler, not so much, 115th in Kemp Palm, 119 in the Hot Tibet rankings. And it is a team that I didn't love, you know, going into Big East play here. Um, in the non-conference, they didn't have a great, you know, showing a loss to Michigan State, a loss to Houston, a loss to Purdue, and they're even coming off a loss to Seton Hall here in the last game. But they got a decent win over to Paul. And looking back, that Oklahoma win in overtime um, was really the highlight of the season so far. But Butler 
is not a horrible team. They just got to do a better job shooting the ball. You know, Chuck Harris leads this team in scoring with 10.6 points per game, and he missed a few games, um, so that definitely hurts it a little bit there, but he's got to shoot the ball slightly better. Jalen Taylor is, is second in scoring with 10.5 points per game, and both those guys can, can make some more points, and really they can distribute the ball a little more and just score more points. They're going to do better, which I get, you know, oh, just score more points, they're going to do better, um, but it is true for Butler. They just haven't shot the ball as well as they need to. Only a 47.9 effective field goal percentage. They're only hitting 31.7 percent from the on the arc um and only a 66.7 free throw percentage and when you compare that to what xavier's done you know it, it's going to be hard to hang with them don't get me wrong um the xavier team has you know been a good shooting team but the problem i have with xavier is that they've struggled away from home both their losses to iowa state and villanova were away from home they're going to indianapolis to play butler in this game and um i i think that gives butler an opportunity to keep this one close um while nate johnson for xavier is dropping 13.2 points per game zach Nagoo is also dropping 12.5 points per game um you know the butler has to do a better job shutting down xavier because xavier is a very good shooting team 52.1 effective field goal percentage they're in 33.3 percent from beyond the arc as well as a 71.1 free throw percentage and xavier is just a solid team on both sides of the basketball 31st in adjusted offensive efficiency 30th in adjusted defensive efficiency but yet i'm still on butler in this game you know the butler offense is not good 182nd adjusted offensive efficiency but that butler defense really has shined and showed that they can be a competitive basketball team they're great at forcing turnovers a 20.6 turnover percentage for butler 94th in the country in that category they got a decent perimeter defense um, they're only allowing their opponents a 30.4 three-point percentage at 68th in the country. And they have a very experienced roster, um, some very talented guys on the roster. And really, I think this is a game that Butler has no problem keeping close at home. They've looked not horrible um, at home this season. And, and for Xavier, you know, while they play a fast style of basketball, I think they're going to struggle a little bit with that Butler defense. Um, and if they can get through it and, and you know, still play their speed and, and push tempo, they might have a chance. You know, they're 62nd in the country um, in adjusted tempo. Um, but if Butler slows them down even a little bit and really just a step or two slower than what Xavier likes to play, I think Butler has a great spot to cover this one. So give me Butler plus five and a half here against Xavier. And that is it for Friday's college basketball show. If you want to see more NFL, college basketball, NBA, NHL action, head over to hotdebest.com and take a look at the computer model picks up there. Got picks for all of those every day, as well as follow the Hot Debest main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, where you can stay up to date with everything happening on the website, as well as with the computer model picks, as well as follow me at Hot Debest Chris on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with all of the content that I am putting out, um, as well as follow me on the Bet Stamp app where you can get early access to all the picks the second I record each episode um, i put all the picks out there so you can get them as early as possible if you're following me on bet stamp and last but not least if you're watching here on youtube hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on for friday's college basketball card and thanks for watching today's show i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>